this is a overboard valve which is uh, leaking and this valve is a gate type valve and this valve is for galley scupper line so this valve is uh, directly exposed to overboard you can see it is directly connected to overboard and uh, there is no any intermediate valve it has to be changed because the valve is not holding it is called uh, you call it as galley overboard valve and there is one more valve that is also not holding so since we are at sea we plan to renew it but for that you have to do the scupper you have to block the line so first thing is uh, you have to drain the line and uh, you have to confirm with the diving team whether they had plugged the proper overboard and once the diving team confirmed they had fitted the plug you have to open the drain plug which i had opened now and uh, you have you can see the drain plug through the drain plug there is no more water coming out that means the overboard is already plugged so now next thing is we have to start opening the valve so this uh, kind of valve this kind of job you have to do in a faster way because uh, sometimes what happens is the plug which is being done by the diving team may get loosen up because of the current and other causes so it is always good to do the job as soon as possible in a safe way so now we are in the process to remove the bolts of the overboard valves so we had removed uh, both the side both the flange bolts has been removed and now we are taking the valve out from place just give a shake so that the valve will come you can see some water which is in the line is coming out that is not a issue let it drain the water pressure will be out now you can remove the valve from place so one more thing which i need to inform in this case is so overboard valves whenever you have any problem with overboard valve when it is not holding always uh, address this to the managers so that they will plan to procure the valve and do the necessary things for changing the valve because uh, having a leaky overboard valve is always a problem which can give a lot of headache to engineers and this uh, you can see the valve is not holding it is full of uh, deposits so okay let us keep the valve on the other side and we will start preparing the other valves okay so the next thing what we need to do is you have to clean the chamber i just want to show where the plug is how the plug will be done i just want to clean this area to ensure there is no other foreign objects is being uh, in stuck in way of overboard so that to be confirmed that also because sometime what happens is in the overboard line some heavy objects or heavy stones or something get uh, stuck which don't allow the water to go out that is also happen sometimes so it is always better to inspect before you do this kind of job because this kind of job can be done only either at uh, dry dock or you have to do by plugging the overboard line so just inspect the side of the flanges and you have to get ready with the flange get the gasket ready so all this thing you have to done so we are scrapping out the impurities on the flange side and use a buffing machine to do the flange preparation and once the flange preparation is done gasket is ready and then we are ready to install the new valve and uh, i am removing all the water which is in way of overboard line i just want to show you the uh, scupper which has been plugged means a plugged plug which is been uh, uh, done from outside of the sea you can see there is a wooden plug which is visible this is the plug that has been done by the diving team from outside you can see the wood which is visible okay so next thing is uh, we need to 
prepare the flanges and the valve is ready the new valve is ready so check the valve specification and before ins installation of this valve just uh, check the opening and uh, closing of valves so that uh, you are double confirmed the operation of the valve is in a good condition so in the meanwhile we are preparing the flange surface so that uh, the flange will be good enough to accommodate the valve so any impurities which is in the flange can uh, leads to leakage and that is the reason we are uh, getting ready with the flange surface means preparation of flange surface so both the side of the flanges should be buffed properly and uh, no impurities no any foreign particle should be present on top surface of the flange you can see now we are getting cleaned as properly so once uh, the flange is done in the meantime gasket has to be get ready and uh, before installation of the yeah the overboard is plugged from ship side just to just for an information uh, we had plugged the overboard side so we are at port so at sea means we are at port so we have to plug it for doing this kind of job okay So gasket is ready. We had uh, get ready with the gasket, and uh, again, uh, what we do is we will check the new valve. I uh, install I means apply some amount of grease over the flanges. That uh, application of grease will help to install the valve easily, and you can easily move the gasket also if there is any problem in fixing the bolts okay now the issue for here is uh, we have one more pipe in way of this valve so i will try to fix the gate valve in place without removing the that pipe piece if not possible we have to remove the piece so now we are checking the valve operation just open open it completely so once you open the valve just uh, push with the help of any rod just push the valve flap and see when it goes out it has to come back by itself that is how you have to check the valve for this uh, gate valves so I had opened it now I will check the valve functioning means uh, the flap function so just press it and it has to come by itself that's all this is how you have to check you can press with the help of hand just press it has to come back by itself press come back by itself press come back by itself that's all so once this check is completed then it is ready to fix in place so usually what happens is due to prolonged period of operation this uh, automatic closing will get uh, stuck and that is the reason your uh, water from outside will start coming inside the system which we experience that is why we are changing the valve so we are now closing opening function is done checked all okay now we close the valve and check the flap should not get out means it should not move towards so okay it is already closed i'll try to push it it is not pushing that means the valve is completely sealed okay then fine so since this is a new valve what we need to do is we have to mark and lock the inlet means a fully shut and open position so i was just uh, checking with the position so we'll use uh, star screwdriver and uh, tighten it so that uh, people don't tight the handle not 
more than that position you can see the flow of direction indication so thus that flow should be properly checked you have to fit in the way of flow towards C okay so now one thing which we have to do is we have to fix the point now just we are applying the grease on top of the flange for both the side I'm just waiting for the screwdriver to come so that I will uh, mark the lock position of the Okay, so as I told earlier, we try to install the valve directly, but uh, I think it is little bit impossible. So what we do is we are removing the flange. That means uh, we are removing one spool of pipe so that it will be easy for us to fix the valve in place directly. So that is the reason we are uh, removing this uh, pipe. So you can very easily uh, do the things without wasting your time if you feel like uh, something is obstructing just uh, simply what you do is remove the pipe and fix the valve and then install the pipe so because this is a kind of job where you are uh, you have to act a little bit fast because once you fix the valve in place then no need of worrying of anything even the plug get loosened no problem you already fix a new one and valve is holding so no issues so that is what we are doing now so we are installing the we already installed the gasket and now the valve we are going to fix as I said earlier the closing point will be marked and it will be what and uh, marker will be tightened so that uh, in this position you have to stop closing the you have to stop closing the spindle means the you don't need to push anymore so over tightening will be avoided okay then now we are done with the uh, fitting okay now we are going to install the valve in place okay check the position of valve easy the valve is little bit heavy so two person is needed to fix the valve okay the valve is in place and again uh, gasket in place position flow of direction is from top to outside C position so we are done with uh, fixing of the valve in place now next thing is you have to tighten the valve in place so again as I always say whenever you are uh, using a bolt use copper slip or grease and then only use it then okay we are almost done with the job so fit all the better when you are using uh, when you are changing the valve and that too particularly overboard valve try to fix a new nut bolt will be more easier because uh, most of the time what happens is the old bolts which is already in place must have already crossed more than 10 15 years so it is always better to renew bolts and nuts and easy for for you also when you are doing the job and the job can be completed very easily you don't need to get ready with the bolts and all you if you have new bolts just apply copper slip and uh, copper slip or grease and then tighten it finish if you are using the old bolts you have to buff the bolts if you don't have bolts no problem you, have, you can use the old bolt by buffing it but if you have no problem just use the new one and finish it off so that uh, the job don't get delayed uh, actually for uh, doing this job we had taken almost 45 minutes to complete which uh, like uh, once almost we are going to finish diver said uh, the plug is already getting loosened but we had done the job already means 40 to 45 minutes it took for us to complete the job 
where even it is fully organized like we planned everything everything is kept in place nothing was delayed only to remove the valve and uh, refit the valve it took 40 minutes for us to complete this job but uh, particularly when you are going to means when vessel goes to uh, means container ships and all vessel don't have a chance to be in port for a long time and uh, we'll be having very less time at port and we will be doing we may be planning some other maintenance work also and along with that work we have to do this work also so the thing is you have to act fast while performing this kind of job because uh, this kind of job is purely depends on uh, the plug which is fitted by the divers from outside and uh, divers will be always standby for the entire operation and that is also one thing so okay we are done with our job the valve has been renewed so next we will fit the pipe and uh, we are done with the job i believe uh, this video must have given you some idea about how to change the overboard valve when the valve is not holding if you have any doubt please put in comment box definitely i will reply you Thanks for supporting, keep supporting all time. Thank you all.